Okay, here we go. So here we are, and it's the end of the bo of the bag of what's his name? Grinchy? No, Grinchy's the other one. Caesar. Caesar the cat. Great Caesar's ghost is his name. Oh, Great Caesar's ghost. And he's a Himalayan kitty and has very long fibers, very soft fibers. So we're going to take it and mix it in with this bat of wool that I have. And Mary's been working very hard to get it all combed out so it's nice and soft. And when we try to mix it in, it'll go in pretty well. So how are you going to do this, Mary, dear? I don't know. <laughs> Experiment. We'll figure it out. So what ratio do you think is good? I'm going to use as little wool as possible to get it okay. all together because I want to keep the integrity of the cat hair and I want it to stay really, really soft and the cat hair is really, really soft. Do you think you should put a layer above and a layer below? I have no idea. I'm okay. going to try one and see how it comes out and okay. then change it. So she's spinning all it experimenting. Yep. That's what we do. We experiment. Yes. And we learn. And, and we learn. And here we go. Here we go. Cat hair and not so cat hair. And then I would say take a look at it and then if you need to put it back through without, you know, you don't need to go through all of it. I mean, you're really just trying to get some fibers that look good, right? Right. Tell the difference though. Uh -huh. The wool is so much longer. Uh huh. So again, how long did you think the kitty hair was? Probably, probably between um, two inches and three or four inches. So um, mm -hmm. two to four inches. Yeah. Okay. And the wool fibers are. Much you know, <laughs> I actually don't think they're that much longer. I just think that they're already. Um, intertwined, you know what I mean? And that they um, bind together more easily. They're kinky. They're not yeah, as they're smooth. kinky. They're clearly not as smooth as the cat hair. Mm -hmm. that, that will make a difference. This is so cool. It's fun. So now the idea is that when Mary gets some spinnable wool slash cat fibers, she'll take it home and spin it on her hand spindle. A drop right? spindle. Yep. A drop spindle. Yep. So neat when I was in South America, people walk everywhere with the drop spindles and they just spin as they walk. They have a pouch no. full of wool and they just spin as That's they walk. That's kind of around. fun. Really now, we're in South America. I was in Peru. I was in Peru, but I didn't really s remember seeing that. But I was in the Andes. In well, we were Cusco. very fortunate. That, yes, we went up into the mountains and we were very fortunate. They took us into a village where uh -huh. native people lived and, and they. They took us there to show us the school and to show us how oh, they fun. lived, and, and they just they do everything by hand. Was this one of your mama's tours? It was through Grand Circle. Grand Circle? I don't know what that is. It's a neat group. They, they just arrange the most awesome tours, and mm. they always want to focus on the native people and how they live. Really close in. They yeah. seem to focus on the schools, too, because we always took things for the people. We took oh. pencils and... and Crayons for the kids in the school and things like that. Wow, look at that. That's awesome. That's crazy. Look at that. Dude. It's not really quite a bat, though, is it? No, it's not. Maybe uh. I should put more of the shapey. I think you probably will need more because, again, you want to make still make it an easy to spin. I would take it out and put it through again. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because once it's through, if you really want the fibers to mix right, in. Right, they're not going to mix. I agree. Yeah. Smart. But look, it comes off together, which it didn't do before. Yeah. It's just the cat hair, it didn't come off like this. So okay. And i gotta, got to put my hand on that to see how that feels. It's not as soft yep. as it was before. Let me see. I see. It's not as soft. And the soft. color's changing, too. Yeah. No, it's still soft. Mm -hmm. It's not really soft. Do you think I should do it just like this? What I would or do, I, I would put more sheep, and the next time I would put some at the top and some at the bottom. I hate to say it, but, you know, because it'll help to um, bind them together. And keep your 
your fingers out of the way. You can really tell the difference with a sheepy in there, though. Because this stretchy, all connected thing didn't happen before at all. Mm -hmm. It's just the cat hair. It did not happen. That's what she said, Kathy Jerry's. She knows her fiber. She sure do. But I'm gonna have to use a whole sheep considering how much cat I have. <laughs> Years of cat here. I got three. <laughs> we might have to practice washing fleece next. <laughs> Well, something for you to do next time you come, dearie. It looks so different with the sheep. Yeah. Because it's all laying down nice and flat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know, because it was all puffy before. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then it's been through more than once now, too. Yeah. In some cases, twice already. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. Fun, fun.